All right, places everyone, places. And we turn our auction video for November 2nd. Take eight. Go when ready. <laughs> it's very hard to hold that with one hand and try to make it go snap. Uh, yes, we're open for business. You betcha. And we'd like to see you this coming Thursday. Doors open at six, or doors doors open at five. Auction starts at six. Pretty cool sign, huh? That would fit anywhere. I know some of you have some storefronts. Totally use a neon open sign. This piece is kind of cool. It's an artistic rendering of maybe a sky type view of this is St. Louis. Uh, it's artist signed and everything. Attorney at law in leather, cowboy leather. Hee hoo! Cowboy lawyer. These are neat, these records from the hit TV shows from the 70s. That's so awesome. Look at that. Welcome back, Cotter. Welcome back. Do, 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 do. Yeah. That's what I want. That's a nice quilt. Very nice. Nice, good shape. It looks like a Boy Scout pack. Winchester. Nice printer's drawer, I'm guessing. Pachinko! Don't know how to play it. But here it is. Seems like we get these all the time. And they all look very similar. Huh. Interesting. Compound bow. Bow season started, I believe. Edelman Brass Goods. This is pretty cool. It's a nice hefty uh, box, like a steel box. Look like it's 1941 dated. That's nice. Very nice piece. Speaking of the 40s, look at these guys. 1945, San Diego. Some Navy boys. Looks like they used to put sugar cones in pretty hefty cases. Which makes sense. That way they don't get broken. These are one of those really cool projectors. Those larger type slides. Ooh, a five gallon. Look at that. I'll take the five gallon jug of whiskey, please. And then if that wasn't enough, look at this. Beer on draft. Five cents. I'll take a dollar's worth of those. <laughs> Nice box there. I believe it actually is for corned mutton. I'll take a case of corned mutton, go with my whiskey, and my five cent beers. There's the Lord. Let me quit talking about whiskey and beer in front of the Savior. Hey, Kansas Jayhawks. There you go. That's after they won four. That's pretty cool, 1988, 1952, 23, 1922. I think they've won more than that now. But that's, that's a cool conversation piece. Look at this giant tub of awesome photos, old photographs. So you can look at how weird people looked way back when and feel good about yourself. Really nice rock specimens in here. Uh, really cool stuff in here. Fossils, geodes, crystals of all kinds. There's a little bit of uh, pornography. And then there's some uh, mad and cracked magazines, vintage. Pretty darn neat. This is a giant rug. Just kind of looks like carpet. But it's nice. Nice and clean. That's another nice clean rug. I believe that one's six by nine foot. Some nice stuff over here. But, here I'll give you a quick, yeah, we'll be getting to that shortly. I'm starting on the, if you're sitting in the audience, I'm starting on stage left. We start stage right and move our way left, so this is kind of a neat piece. Nice candy dispenser. There, there's some really nice vintage 
lampshades. A lot of people have nice vintage lamps, but the shades is all messed up, so get yourself a nice shade. Boy, there's two in there. Not sure I really caught that in the photos. You might want to take notice. Oh, there's two there, too. Well, you know, I took photos of them. Took photos of everything. These are real nice glasses. Got some nice silver plate bowls back there. Good looking stuff. I believe that's a Weller pot. Got a Van Briggle. One of those cornucopias. Cornucopia? Hornucopia? Cornucopia? Whatever. Nice crystal. There's some crystal. There's another crystal set. That's a nice, neat Madonna piece. Moving on, moving on. Gotta go, gotta go. So, little kids, uh, well, I guess it was, yeah. Their little kid German wear there. Is it later, Hosen? Nice nutcracker. You got a big giant nutcracker for big cracking big giant nuts, and then you got the little nutcracker. He's like an absolute replica, just smaller for your smaller nuts. This is neat. Big giant book. I don't like opening it very often. Uh, it has very, you know, it's full of newspapers from, I believe, 1920s. Kansas City Star, Kansas City, you know, uh, newspapers. So, you know, the more it's moving around, as you can see, evident there, the more it's flaking, the more, it, you know, and I don't want to mess nothing up. Well, it's whole string. I believe those are. World War II dated 30-06 inert rounds, um, but they're on a machine gun chain belt thing. Got some shotgun shells. Got some more old photos. Nice form back there. Some ephemera. These are trombone mutes. A couple of straight mutes. Here's your standard one, your philharmonic metal one. You got a wah-wah plunger mute for a trombone. Pretty neat, some nice crockery probably just sell it as a whole flat right there neat more rock pieces got a nice piece of agate there and got some a fossil with a looks like two fossil fish and a little littler fish geode I don't want to miss the stuff that's on the ground give you a glimpse some old beer cans in that box, check out the photos. It's a, it's some kind of like a surgical light system that you would have had some sort of foot. There, there's an attachment that says for the foot pedal and, and all kinds of stuff. So, But it's made, it's a medical piece. It's really cool. Um, my hands are full. Otherwise, I'm trying. Maybe I can keep it up with my red tennis shoes. Oh, yeah. See? See how cool that is? You ought to come in for preview on Wednesday, 11 to 1. Check it out. Otherwise, you can preview it. Now, this trombone, this is an old piece. This is probably just after World War, or I uh, World War, just after the Civil War, probably 1880s, 1890s ish. Because when you attach the bell, it points all willy nilly. In Civil War times, they made cornets, trumpets, and uh, trombones and baritones they would point backwards. The bell would point backwards because usually the band was up front and everybody, the whole army is marching behind so that way they could hear the music. Just a little piece of advice. If you ever see one that you put it together, it just seems like it's backwards. That's a good thing. That's, that means it's super. This thing also has uh, rotary valves, which is a, another testament to how old it is. It's before piston valves. So it's a valve trombone, rotary valve, very weird, very old, probably needs a little work. Uh, nice piece of trench art, dated 1918, France. Very, very cool. These are old army tubes for radios and stuff. Nobody could remember what this ice cream, but it's Kansas City, De Courcy's ice cream. So that's an oldie. Nice jar full of 22 bullets of all shapes. Got your 22 long rifle, 22 shorts, all kinds of stuff in there. Jar of bullets. 
neato stuff down here. Uh, really cool displays of uh, arrowheads, and those look like real. Those look like the real deal. Um, very, two very nice displays of those. Got some World War II era German. All of that is correct, according to our resident master, Von Kruger. He ought to know. He knows. He could spot a fake from across the room. Really cool photos here that have to do with the uh, Kansas City steel industry. Um, I forget the actual name of the company. There it is. Kansas City Structural Steel Company. Awesome photos. Some of them were confidential, you know, uh, but the company probably doesn't exist anymore. Really neat, big, giant, thick postcards of different actors and cool people. There's even like a Allen Ginsberg in there. And got a couple of swatches. You don't see swatches very often. Uh, more watches, neat coins, very cool coins. Check out the photos I did each compartment. I because these are, I mean, we're talking 1857 Flying Eagle. Uh, there's Morgans. There's you know, finally some really good coinage. We haven't had that for a while. 1969 Kansas City Chiefs. That's pretty cool. Hank Stram days when we won Super Bowl four. Uh, looks to me like the Himalayan salt crystals. Neat stuff. These are saddlebags. These are saddlebags. Kind of hard to see that. They're in a flat, but they are. There's, look at that. Rodent skins. I don't know. You know they're very nicely done. Awesome books. These are the ones that made it up front. Uh, so the nicer types of all the classics, you know. You got Darwin, Cervantes, Plato, Plutarch, you know, Harvard stuff. Really nice dictionary. It's actually numbered inside, and I don't think that thing was ever, ever used. It's so crisp and excellent. So in the back, Hard to see. Check out the photos. There's some good military. That coat's pretty darn good. Uh, we've got records again. We're doing the rest of the records. If you were here last week, you saw them. 45s. Each one of these boxes is just chucked full of 45s. And we put numbers on them. So if there's this particular box you're wanting, this is a big, good reason to come to preview, so you can look at these over and pick the boxes that you want. Um, look at all those. Tons of 45s. If you collect four, five, 45 records, you should, since I'm over here, I'll show you this stuff. Tater sacks, peanut sacks, neat stuff down here. This table is not for sale. We tried to sell it. Nobody went for it, so we bought it for ourselves, I believe. Uh, it's kind of industrial looking, but it looks kind of cool for things like this, for displaying. We went ahead and we'll probably sell the entire shelf of these, but as far as enameled canting plates, we were, the fact that they're each a different color and they're really cool. It's a nice way to display it. Real nice, heavy duty looking cart there. Since I'm on this side to save on time, I'll just keep going this way, back to where the furniture is, and we'll sit, hit the tables. So lots of cool stuff. That's a pretty darn nice desk. Wouldn't take up a whole lot of space. Kind of modern. I mean, as Mad Men 60s looking mod stuff. Neat. It's one of those leather working benches those are nice cool vintage chairs all kinds of stuff choice off the table again choice off the table I don't know we might just sell that as an entire set 
kind of looks Japanese or kind of some neat Asian looking hats some some of the books that didn't make it up front but they're still really good books there's some great stuff in there there's a whole case an entire collection Victor Hugo yeah Henry David Thoreau uh, there's art in that not just a case there is art in it all right let me flip around and so much furniture you furniture buyers ought to come out this is a good one sort of a look at all those six of them it's packed in here pretty tight you've got a lot Keep moving here. That's a really nice trunk. Awesome coffee table. You know, and we'll do the candle holder separate, and then we'll do the. This is a neat piece. It's like a love seat, and then a matching couch, a larger couch with the same fabric. And check it out. Even behind that, there's curtains that match that. You could go super matchy, matchy, match. And make your whole house match. Everybody will think you're the coolest person in the world. Try and give you a decent look at this stuff. There's great stuff in the back. There's a really nice antique piece there. Beautiful looking buffet sort of piece. That's a pastel. That's a really nice chair with a footstool. Funky, heavy piece there. Cool trunk. No, it's not on legs. Like, they took the legs off. But it's a cedar chest. I'm going to do a flip and show you the stuff behind me pretty soon here. There's a really nice bed in the back. It's like a... Yeah, maybe a... I'm not sure if that's a queen or a double, but it's nice. Super clean. Berkshire. Hathaway Berkshire. Whatever. We're in Nebraska Furniture Mart. That's an awesome long table. Six chairs. There's a smaller, modern looking glass top. The four chairs. I'm trapped in here. How am I going to get out of here? It's packed in here so solid. Excuse me. Finish showing you everything there. Okay, let me show you this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Crazy, huh? But if you really notice, the shelves don't really move a whole lot. Look at the one on top. It doesn't move at all. That one, the pivot point, it doesn't move at all. And the bottom doesn't couple of them do but we we set drinks you know glass of of uh, a cup of coffee on it didn't even spill a drop pretty funky that would definitely get somebody's attention at your if you had a display display your items on it pretty nice got a, some great stemware glassware crystal glass there's some silver plate, shiny, shiny silver plate. Some real nice dish sets here. I think we're going to sell like that entire set. There's a yardstick delineating the uh, difference between that and this set. And we'll sell that. And then there's another set. Really nice doll down here. stuff above below lots of stuff we ran we just so much stuff we were running out of room look at this whole table nothing but lamps and if it's a pair it's a pair we sell them as a pair we're not gonna make you have to buy both we'll, we'll sell them as a pair we're on your side 
cool art. That's a that's a tapestry. That's not even a painting. That's a painting. Really nice signed art pieces here. Very cool stuff on the tables. Just give you a, a pass by so you can. There's a Bible board game. So you can quiz your kids how much did they learn at church. You go to church, you come down, you come home, and we'll play the Bible board game. See how much you know. Lots of silver plate, brass, shiny, shiny, nice Stetson hat. I think it's in a different hat box, but that's okay. Any hat, the hat box works. I think that's a champ hat box, but it's a Stetson. Look at these. If you have a dog, one of those greeny treats. Help keep your teeth clean and they'll chew it up, play with it, smack it around. That's 1961 dated Barbie box, sir. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this stained glass window panels. There's one set, another set. Could have been just one big giant window, like that would have been upside down on top of that and would have been huge. This print, I took a lot of photos of it. It's Ziggy and it's one of a thousand. It was given to somebody named, I think, Katie. Um, and it actually, he actually wrote number one for number one uh you know love you something something but the ziggy artist and that's the very first print of it and he signed it signed it even wrote a little message to her so if you're into ziggy uh that's a one in a you know one in a lifetime chance right there to get a original signed not just signed but for somebody to write a bunch of stuff on there like that. These are awesome, these sconces. They have kind of that old Asian wise man in there. I thought that was cool. And here's, here's another example of the old Asian wise man. It has a lamp. There's an old Vornado. Gorgeous stuff. There's some costume jewelry, but super nice stuff. Some good costume jewelry in there. I think there's a, even a pocket knife and a sheath in there. I mean, there's good stuff in there. They are worth bidding for. Nice art on the walls. These are, they've got their certificate of registration and authentication from the artist uh, Gary Carver, I think it is. Um, yeah, looks like Gary Carver. So these are all prints. There's three of them of elk and elk, you know, old mountain men hunting elk. Very, very cool. We're so well done. And with the documentation and their sign, numbered, awesome stuff. Look at that big, giant, beautiful mirror. Here's another table full of goodies. Those crazy boots. Those are those boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. Those boots will walk all over you. Stormtrooper. More art back there. Art on the cart. Neat items here. Vintage Playboys. Really nice silver plate set. Looks like 1847 Rogers. So patterned after an 1847. Look at that nice box that it's in too. Really nice stuff. Cool if you got a tape deck. There's some awesome tapes. Bye-bye. Papa go swimming with my leg open. It says Papa the Sailor Man. Good, 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 good. 
Got a Rams jacket. This is a nice Timberland coat here. Look at that. George, that's a Carhartt jacket right there. You know they don't miss Ram. Now I need to show you this back here because I was kind of concentrating nice items back here as well. Skulls. Skulls. Neat stuff on this table here. Tables. More than one. That's actually like a... I think it's where the gear shifter was for a Mercedes. Um, yeah. Got that burl wood. So if you happen to have a Mercedes and you need a new... Come on down. You should come down anyway. We have a lot of fun. It's a good time on Thursday nights. Longer burger. Baskets, that is. Longer burger. Kind of fun to say. Longer burger. So, yeah, nice fireplace screen. I don't know if I really showed that. Lots of records back here. Buy the whole box. There's a good two, four, six, seven boxes of records. Well, as you can see, hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of what we got to offer this time. Treasures galore, as always. Come on down. Look at that nice, that's from the Spanish American War ribbon back there. Nice Air Force uniform. Yeah, I could sit here and blah, blah, blah. That, that belt is probably cavalry type days. I don't know. Uh, it's marked U.S. It's ancient. Yeah. That's like, I could see Custer clicking that belt and heading out for a ill-fated rendezvous. Well, come on down. Like I said, Wednesdays, 11 to 1 preview. Otherwise, you can show up an hour early, an hour before the auction starts. 5 o'clock, we'll open the doors. You can peruse over the items then, and auction starts at 6. Whoa! That shelf just... It would make you sick if you stared at it too long. Hope to see you there. Hope you guys had a nice, happy Halloween. See you Thursday night. Bye-bye.